Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable cupcakes. So grab your 4mm crochet hook and let's get started! We're going to begin by making the cupcake base. This time I'm going to be using a turquoise and you begin by making a magic ring and do six single crochets inside the ring. Next, we're going to increase all the way around or do two single crochets in each stitch for a total of 12 single crochets. For the next round, you're going to increase, so do two single crochets in the first stitch and then in the next stitch do one single crochet. Repeat this pattern of increasing followed by a single crochet for a total of 18 single crochets. Next, we're changing the direction. So we're going to single crochet in every stitch in the back loop only. So notice how each stitch is made up of a V shape. You're only gonna go in one of those sides in the back one, like so, all the way around. You may want to start using a stitch marker so that you don't lose count. So we're gonna do 18 single crocheting all the way around. And this creates the shape, so it changes from the flat bottom to the side. For your next round, you're going to single crochet all the way around, but go through both loops. Once again, you'll end up with a total of 18 single crochets. Begin your next round by increasing. So do two single crochets in the same stitch, followed by two single crochets in the next two stitches. So one in each. One, two. Now repeat this pattern of increasing followed by two regular single crochets for a total of 24 single crochets. And you can see that your cupcake is really starting to take shape now. Now for the next two rounds, you're going to single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 single crochets. To end off the base of our cupcake, all we're going to do is slip stitch and cut our yarn. Now we can stick this tail inside our cupcake by poking through here underneath this V and now our string is inside our cupcake and then just go under some of the stitching like so. And no need to cut your yarn, you can just leave it like this as the icing will cover that up. The next step is to make our cherry, which is actually connected to our icing. So no need to sew it on because it's already done for us. Begin by making a magic ring and do six single crochets inside the ring. For round two, you're going to increase followed by one single crochet, and repeat this pattern for a total of nine single crochets. Next, you're going to single crochet all the way around for a total of nine single crochets. Before we continue, you'll want to stuff your tail where you started inside your cherry, and then you're going to, for our final round, Decrease, followed by one single crochet, and repeat this, and we'll end up with a total of six single crochets. When you get to your final single crochet, I'm about to go in, stop. Cut your yarn, add some stuffing to your cherry, 
and we're going to do our final so this is you add stuffing so that it doesn't go droopy inside the cherry we want a nice firm cherry not just yarn <laughs> and now what you're going to do is go into your stitch like you normally would and instead of wrapping around and pulling through with the red you're going to switch colors grab your icing color I'm using white and pull through with your white or whatever color you've chosen. Now you're ready to start your actual icing. Before you continue, you'll want to do a double knot with your two ends. No need to cut them as they'll be inside our cupcake. Next what you want to do is in the front loop only. So notice how there's two parts of the V. In the outer part only, you're going to increase all the way around. So two single crochets in each front loop of our cherry. You'll end up with a total of 12 single crochets. Things are changing once again. For the rest of our icing, what we're going to be doing to make these gorgeous rounds that sort of stick out, to do that, what we have to do is work in the back loop only, opposite to what we just did. So the one closest to the center, we're going to only go under that part of the V. So the pattern for this round, second round, is increase in our first stitch. So two single crochets in the back loop of our first stitch. Then in the next one, just a single crochet. Repeat these, this pattern all the way around for 18 single crochets, entirely in the back loops only. Begin your next round by increasing, again, only in your back loop, followed by two single crochets. Repeat this pattern all the way around of increasing followed by two single crochets for a total of 24 stitches. Begin your next round by increasing, again back loop only. Put in your stitch marker if you're using one and then do three single crochets. You can see that the lines are coming and by the end of this round you'll end up with 30 single crochets. Now for the next two rounds you're going to single crochet in the back loop only all the way around. Of course for a total of 30 single crochets. Now we're going to cinch in our cupcake a little bit and begin by decreasing. This round again is done with the back loops only. So we're going to decrease, insert your stitch marker, then do three single crochets. Repeat this pattern all the way around for a total of 24 single crochets. We've made it to our final drip icing round. So for that, we're only gonna be working in the front loop, not the back loop. So in your first stitch, you're going to do a slip stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to do a single crochet and a half double crochet. So wrap around and pull through all three loops on your hook. In your next stitch, you're going to do a half double crochet then a, slip or a single crochet in that same stitch and end with a slip stitch. We've got one drip done. We're gonna do this for a total of six drips. So slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, 
slip stitch. So I've just finished all my drips and to end off you're going to cut a nice long tail so that we can sew the two pieces together. Next, pick your sprinkle colors and let's get decorating! So to begin, poke through the inside of your icing out to the outside and don't pull all the way through. Make sure to leave a little bit of a tail so we can tie a knot in the end. Then skip over around a row and poke out again into the inside of our cupcake. One sprinkle is made and remember don't pull too tight either. Then you're just going to look and see where you want your next sprinkle, maybe up here. This process is completely up to you how many sprinkles you want, how close together you want them, like so. And just keep going around. Go around your entire cupcake until you get around back to where you started. I'm just about to finish my final purple sprinkle. As you can see, this is the end where I started, this one, and I'm almost back. Where's the thing? So once you've done that, just on the inside, all you have to do is tie together your two ends with a double knot. And no need to cut them, you can just stuff them inside and you'll need a tiny bit less stuffing. Now we get to assemble. So to begin, poke your um, needle through the V here to get it so it's on the right side of the cupcake. Like so. Now you're going to go under um, our first loop here and then you're going to go under the outermost layer of a V on our base, like so. Now we're going to continue all the way around. So you want to grab a half a V from our icing, half a V from our base, and pull tight. Half a V from icing, half a V from until you get around halfway of the way done. Now it is stuffing time. So break off, you know, small pieces of your stuffing and stick it inside your cupcake in both the bottom and the top. Make sure that before you actually finish sewing it up, there's enough stuffing that the cupcake can keep its shape. Once you've added stuffing to your liking, continue sewing all the way around and don't cut your yarn. There's one final step. So you could end here and go ahead, poke your yarn through and cut your yarn. But as you can see, you can't really see the drip. You can only see it sort of from the top. It's sort of just sticking out. So to make it more drippy so that it's obvious, what you wanna do is poke out until you get to each um, corner, so the very tip tip of your drip. So this is going to be repeated six times because there's six drips in total. So once you're to the right location, what you want to do is go under one of the stitches like this and pull it down. And to pull it down, you're just going to poke into your blue or whatever color your cupcake holder is. Then poke out to your next spot, like so. And watch this. As we pull, it's pulled down. So now we can see it instead of it sticking up like that. So we're gonna repeat this all the way around. You go into the very top of your drip through that stitch of both V's and back into your base. Poke out to your next one and repeat. 
So once your cupcake drips are defined like so, you're just going to go into, poke out into a random spot in your icing, like so, and cut your yarn. And your cupcake is complete. Thanks for watching. I hope you were able to follow along. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this and check out the written pattern in the description box below.